Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, uh, short uh, video introduction to the tutorial on uh, uh, symbolic regression um, uh, combined with uh, compressed sensing. It's a dark day today in Berlin, even though it's uh, 1 p.m. I need uh, artificial light. It's been a dark week actually. Um, so the uh, tutorial is based on, uh, on a notebook um, and uh, it has been originally designed by uh, Emre uh, Amerchik and uh, Angelo Ziletti <coughs> and recently updated by uh, Thomas Parcel and, and Luigi Sbailo. So um, just a, a recap um, that uh, uh, symbolic regression uh, combined with, uh, with compressed sensing uh, uh, is uh, in this uh, representation learning uh, uh, subdivision of, uh, of machine learning. Um, and uh, indeed, uh, what uh, you will uh, uh, go through in the, in the tutorial is to see how one combine uh, on one side symbolic regression and on the other side uh, uh, compressed sensing uh, to give uh, uh, what uh, we call the CISO, so the sure independent screenings combined with sparsifying uh, uh, operator. Um, just uh, a reminder again, uh, the symbolic regression is this uh, uh, technique that combines uh, so-called features by means of operators in, in order to give mathematical expression and the representation of choice is typically this uh, uh, tree representation because it is easy to uh, uh, combine trees and subtrees in order to give uh, uh, other trees that are other um, symbolic expression that are uh, well formed. Um, you might also remember from uh, the, the lecture that uh, uh, once these uh, expression are formed, then they are uh, expressed in terms of value with the, the uh, data points that one has at hand. And then this uh, constitutes the so-called sensing matrix uh, and uh, the problem is recast at least for, for the compressed sensing uh, formulation of symbolic regression in uh, uh, a selection of features. So uh, this uh, um, system of equations is, uh, is solved by finding the few features that best approximate uh, our property P. And uh, I also have mentioned in the lecture that uh, a way to express this mathematically is to put this uh, term here um, uh, that uh, uh, penalizes when uh, the, um, the number of non-zero coefficients is, uh, increases. Um, uh, this is a regularization term that is uh, quite untreatable uh, when, uh, when uh, you have a large number of columns in the matrix P, that is the typical case. Uh, it is uh, uh, relaxed into this uh, uh, L1 um, regularization that just uh, is, is related to this uh, uh, lasso list absolute shrinkage uh, and selection operator. Um, yeah, so in, in the tutorial you will actually see also uh, lasso at work in order to see that when the number of uh, uh, columns here is large but not that large it's it's a good uh, it's a good uh, solution, and um, but actually the CISO works uh, with a much larger feature space. In the tutorial, you will see a not exceedingly large feature space, in order to be able to run uh, on on limited uh, CPU capacity. But uh, in principle, you can scale up to uh, hundred or, or thousand uh, of uh, uh, processors and. Uh, and uh, yeah, 10 to the 10, 11 uh, something uh, columns in the, in the matrix D. And the way it is solved, uh, I mentioned in the, in the lecture, is to extract this subset of features that correlate with the property. And then one calculates the residual, uh, that is what is left by, by the first uh, selection. 
and, and, and form uh, subsets and then uh, iteratively one builds uh, this subset with have a certain number of features. You will see tens, uh, you, you may have hundreds. And in this subset, you can run exhaustively the L0 uh, regularization. And this we, you will touch uh, with your, you will see with your eyes, we touch with your hands uh, in, in the tutorial. Uh, the tutorial is about uh, uh, predicting the crystal structure of these uh, uh, octet binaries uh, compounds uh, that would crystallize mainly as rock salt and zinc blend. These are the two structures. And, uh, and the idea is to find uh, a, a, a symbolic expression that uh, um, correlates uh, uh, the uh, uh, atomic features, the properties of the isolated atoms, such as the LUMO, the HOMO, other um, property of the valence uh, uh, conscient levels, such as the uh, radius at which the, the distribution uh, uh, function is, uh, is uh, maximal. And uh, uh, this is combined in order to give uh, uh, a map of, of the materials uh, such that uh, the zinc blend are on one side and the rock salt on the other side, but also such that the distance from uh, the coexistent line is, um, is uh, um, significant in the sense that the more distant, the more uh, the, the element is, uh, the material is stable in uh, either phase. And here I, I just briefly show uh, what you will see. So at the end of uh, uh, your, uh, your journey, towards the end of your journey, you will see essentially exactly the same map that uh, uh, is taken from the paper. Uh, uh, except that is interactive. Now you will see the elements uh, and, and, and which uh, property they have uh, with respect to their difference in energy. You see the axis and interestingly you can see uh, uh, the structure of these elements. So here I selected two of these uh, compound of silver for example, silver bromide and silver iodide. You can explore the structure you can check that, uh, yes, uh, this looks like a rock salt. Uh, uh, there is a certain distance. Uh, and then, uh, yes, you have an angle of 90 degree. It clicks. And then uh, the dihedral is either 0 or 90 degree. So good, this looks like uh, really um, a rock salt material. This one should be zinc blend. But wait a second. Uh, yes, 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 this is a beautiful zinc blend and you can check that uh, the angle is indeed uh, the tetrahedral angle and the dihedral is minus 60 or 180 or 60 so exactly what you would expect from this kind of um, crystal structure and um, so this is uh, essentially what I wanted to say uh, the tutorial is really self-explaining. You will uh, uh, look into uh, uh, first exact uh, zero regularization with a very limited feature space there just to understand what's going on when you do uh, a regression with uh, zero regularization. Then you will see the uh, lasso uh, at work and then the fully fledged uh, uh, CISO. Even though the feature space that you will use here is, uh, is uh, somewhat limited, uh, uh, you will be using the fully fledged code uh, developed mainly by, by Thomas Parcel. And then you will see how you can predict new materials, of course, and not much new for uh, octet uh, binary semiconductors, but at least something that you have not used for training. And as bonus, uh, you could also see at the end uh, a comparison with kernel ridge regression, where the comparison is in terms of not who has uh, the, the lowest uh, prediction error and so on. It's really about uh, what uh, the different uh, models yield. That is always what you should think about when selecting uh, um, a model for, for a model class for machine learning. And then if you want to see more CISO, you can go to the main uh, toolkit uh, um, menu and look, for example, for um, uh, topological insulator uh, discovery in, uh, in, in tetradimides. So, um, yeah, 
I would say uh, go to the tutorial um, and, and follow through. You will find uh, once more a, a short explanation of what is uh, uh, compressed sensing and, and symbolic regression, what is CISO, and, uh, and then you are asked to, to uh, see, uh, to, to run uh, essentially the, the code. Thank you for your attention.